All right, guys, doing a Richard Clayderman piece today. Um, <clears throat> it's called Dream of Olwen. And if you like, you know, concerto style sounding uh, solo piano things, this is a great piece for that. Reminds me of Tchaikovsky and Rachmaninoff, that, that sort of thing. So we have. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my easy piano lessons. Though this is not too easy. <laughs> this is for a, uh, you know, someone who, who knows their way around the piano. Uh, again, it's Richard Clayderman, Dream of Owen. And we're going to get started with free part one here. I have a lot of uh, things that are easier on my website, webpianoteacher.com, uh, if you need something that's easier. Although the rest of the lessons for this, as well as thousands and thousands of other lessons that I've made over the past... Uh, eight or nine years now are on my website webpianoteacher.com works on all mobile devices if you are a beginner I recommend going to my blog seancheekblog.com and clicking on the blue link on the right hand side of the page it says how to be your web how to be your own piano teacher on webpianoteacher.com it'll give you a plan of practice a strategy so you don't get frustrated when you're starting out teach you the basics show you how to read my style of uh, notation here. So let's get started with this free part one. And we're going to start with, alright, so E flat D, an octave. I recommend, uh, let's see, maybe using a four on that top E flat. So if I'm on the bottom E flat, a four on the top, so that you can do a five on the D. But it's ba -bum. Then we'll come down to the middle of the piano, grab a G minor chord, G, B flat, D, G, 1, 2, 3, 5. Left hand will have a G octave, we'll do it two times. So we have. Then we have some octaves. This is kind of the Tchaikovsky, um, you know, concerto number two, B flat minor kind of deal with the big octaves. But let me show you the notes first, and then we'll play it in octaves in both hands. The notes are B flat, A, G, F sharp, G. Then we do the, do the next part. E flat, D, C sharp, D. Do the next part. B flat, G, F sharp, D. Do the next part. E flat, D, C sharp, D. Go back. Now go down. B flat, G. So I divided it into sections, though there's no really timing or rhythm to this. Um, if you divide things up, it'll help you mentally to keep track of where you are. So that's what I like to do. I like to divide it up into chunks. So let's take octaves, okay? So let's see if I can do this. Uh, while sitting down at this angle, but B flat octave, so I'm up here. Here's middle C to get your reference point. Uh, B flat left hand on the B flat here. So octaves in both hands B flat, A, G, F sharp, G. Next part, next part, B flat, G. B flat, G. Definitely want to pedal that. And then, I mean, not. You want to pedal to connect. You don't want all those notes, those octaves bleeding into one another. Connect from one octave to the next. Pedal, 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 pedal. Okay, so here we have a B flat minor chord in first inversion. B flat, D flat, F, B flat with one, two, three, five. Left hand on a D flat octave. Wait a little bit, and then F, B flat, and then we get to the next chord on webpianoteacher.com. These lessons are extensive. I take you through the whole song uh, or whole piece. It's not a song. No one's singing. But, uh, well, I guess it does have lyrics to it, doesn't it? So that would be appropriate to call it a song. Take you through the whole piece. Um, it's, it's you know, quite an undertaking. So not for the faint of heart. Uh, you need to have some uh, technique under your belt and, and uh, know your way around the piano a little bit at least before you attempt this one. But um, there you go. Hope you guys enjoy that one. And I'll talk to you later.